Warning, warning. Yes, I have to issue a warning with this game. As if you suffer from any sensitivity to light or anything like that, you may want to, you know, take precautions or miss this video out altogether. As it's a bit flashy, flashy and neon, neon. My name's Kanan and welcome back to the home of Cheap Gaming. And with a story like Death Ray Manta has lasers in his head, he blew up his house and now he lives in space instead. You can't go wrong with this game and let's find out why. Death Ray Mantis is a game on the eShop right now for $9.99 and it's by Thalamus Digital. I hope I did not butcher your name and if I did, I'm so sorry. But as for gameplay in the game, Serene synth organs greet you on the title screen. With the normal options on screen set in front of you with the added bonus of left-handed play. I also will say that the music can be changed in many different ways as well from the option screen. Straight away a sense of humour is evident from the start and then it gets insane starting off lightly then ramping up as the levels mount up 32 in total. No I haven't completed all 32 it would take a sheer genius to do so. To the top of the screen we have the level that you're currently on and also the all time best level and this is a really hard game so that's not going to get to 32 anytime soon. Plus you've got your gems collected and little kind of funny comments to the bottom as well uh, when you start a new level it's pretty cool to be honest and quite funny too and as for them gems you can collect them and they mount up but be careful if you don't collect them in time they will disappear gone with a nice little goodbye and other little sentences it becomes a lovely little risk reward do I go for it don't I but you have to be fast because as I said it's gone if you don't shooting is simple and works well and the movement is also really intuitive and also is very smooth couple all of that with the insanity that's going on on the screen it, it's just mind-blowing sometimes I'd get overwhelmed by by the sheer amount on screen and don't blink otherwise it's game over full stop and so there are moving objects and static ones as well but to complete the level you only need to actually shoot a, a select few to move on it works very well in handheld mode as well as on the tv although it does have that like have you ever used a tablet and then gone and used a mobile phone so weird so weird <laughs> there does seem to be a lack of any leaderboards which is something that I'd normally have a problem with but in this case strangely I really don't care this game calls you to it it beckons come on play another game come on you know you like the neon it's the neon and then listen to me it's really weird but yeah for this game I don't care I just want to play it over and over and as for the graphics, well, you guessed it, it looks like someone has, you know, taken a load of children's play blocks, thrown them in a vat of neon paint and lovingly placed it into the game, all for us to shoot and avoid. I mean, the guy that came up with this is either a mad scientist from years of old, making up for their lack of colour back then. <laughs> Or, or an insane person who howls at every full moon. It's kind of retro and definitely is neon, but that's its charm. It's like when you're told not to look at the sun, but well, you just can't help it, can you? There is a pause button and it's a nice pause button. 
It's very friendly to you. And you know what? You may need to take a break anyway. If not, just to check to see if your eyes are bleeding or not. <laughs> and likewise, the audio is... And now I have to check my ears to see if they're bleeding. The voiceover, like, electric sounding guy is pretty cool. But sometimes it's too much all at the same time but only here and there the rest is you know it's good it also has competent general sounds you know like the weapons the, the shooting and and the like with the music on top and you have to love the commentary but i just feel like it all just complements the visuals and and that just complements the gameplay but it's just mind-blowing the music is like being in a nightclub but one that's everyone in the club is trying to kill you and after all of that I rate games out of five and uh, yeah it's no surprise that I'm gonna rate this a four out of five it's amazing eye destroying visuals and ear caving sounds is just amazing yes i recently reviewed postal redux which is kind of like a slower um, twin stick sheet shooter whereas this is the complete opposite it's in your face it's kicking you when you're down it's one more go let's get in fact if anything i'd say the the ability to get back into the game is far too slow it needs to be bang back in bang back in but there's only a slight gripe i'll be playing this for a while yet trying to get to that level 32 so are you going to pick this game up or are you going to leave it is it too bright and too loud for you are you sitting in an armchair knitting a pullover don't forget like and subscribe leave a comment at the bottom if you made it this far why not come talk to me i'm friendly and remember keep it cheap keep it switch heads <laughs>